and welcome back everybody we have got a mario having some fun with toad on the left side of the screen i am simply welcome back for some more gsa action it is popping it's bopping and it's not stopping today we have got cartoon buffoon versus momo in the 70 star league you know it's been popping off you know this is how it goes and of course with me in the booth it's great to have him back the illustrious industrious electric how you doing man you know i i'm doing pretty great a man of industry uh you know been been kind of busy these past couple of weeks but ready to chill back kick back with some mario and i mean yeah i i'm i'm super hyped for this race especially with with what cartoon buffoon's doing right here must have taken forever to get that really great position <laughs> right between that column and toad so i'm looking forward to the precision being carried on to this race yeah, it's definitely not the easiest task ever. Cartoon Buffoon starting off pretty nice here. I'm pretty pumped, man. I'm going to pull up the data right quick just to just to see exactly what we're dealing with. You know, this is, I believe this is Division 2. Um, but I'm not actually 100% sure on that. Commentator, you know, never really prepared. Wondering how he still has a job here at GSA. But Cartoon Buffoon rocking a 50-28 as of 27 days ago. And Momo literally right behind him in the leaderboard with a 50 33 as of three months ago so it can't get closer than that literally touching each other on the leaderboard and it's 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 pumping it's bumping yeah i mean when you've got guys that are literally right beside each other like that it, at a point it just comes down to whose controller happens to cooperate better whose reaction time Happens to be better today for whatever reason. You know, I mean, obviously there's... And this is why I like GSA and the whole racing... Uh, what would you call it? Paradigm, you know. It's it's allowed for a new type of speedrunner to thrive. And, you know, mostly we've valued personal bests and records almost entirely putting value on that and people will appreciate a good racer but with with the league going on it is it's literally you know making room for new new types of consistency you know it's not so much about that one run but more about those 20 runs and how each of them went so we'll see how cartoon buffoon and mobo end up doing in terms of consistency i'm i'm pretty excited chat getting a little upset apparently it's mermo but i'm thinking that's just a dank meme it's a lot of Omega lols. It's getting kind of wet out here in the chat. What do you think, Electric? I mean, absolutely. You know, I, I Twitch chat, I, I think, has always kind of been a uh, bit of a saucy platform overall. Yeah. But we've got both these guys now going into B.O.B. Looks like, okay, Cartoon Buffoon on that English version. Looks like he's slightly behind oh. now, but by the end of the race, he'll be. Oh, what is this? He is a madman. Is Cartoon Buffoon really about to go for Island Hop? Hold the phone. He's got the first D. That's looking good. And he it's lands. It's going. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Cartoon Buffoon. Wilding out right here. Oh, man. Mermo's got his work cut out for him. Oh, my God. That is that's incredible. Raw. So while he's while he's going back into B.O.B. for that bomb clip, uh, let, let's go ahead and get some predictions for Mummer's slide. But man, that that's just who goes for Island Hop in a race like this so early on in the league. That's that's incredible. Yeah, I mean, I guess early on in the league is probably the better place to be doing it. You know, once you've got the points figured out and you're like, OK, I need at least these many to qualify for playoffs, then I need to be a little bit more conservative. But the thing about the 70 star league is depending on how far ahead you finish you get more bonus points so cartoon really pressing the gas pedal and mermo missing the the star rollout it's it's a good start for buffoon absolutely and mermo with that 13 some odd you know commentators not even bothering to predict a slide time just because of how insane that <laughs> island hop was from buffoon but we got yeah. buffoon with his own slide here you know with that island hop I, i'm thinking his luck hasn't run out yet i'm thinking a 12 6 what do you think on this one I'm feeling a 12.7, I'm gonna be honest. You know, he got the island hop, it was great, but this slide is a different beast. Oh, both of us. 12.9. You just gotta take my last number, flip it upside down. You know, that's obviously what I meant. I'm I'm a upside down dyslexic. 
Oh, right. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so that's fine. Electric, able to make it work no matter what, on the fly. Quick adjustment. We'll let it play just because he's a cutie, but another, another quip like that and, you know, we might have some problems. Commentator a little upset because he got the gets wrong. Co-commentator able to backpedal it into completion. Meanwhile, Mermo, let's see how he's able to hopefully not have to backpedal this cannonless using the sock folder setup. Real nice and reliable. Nice. Definitely folding a sock there. I don't know why you would, but I mean, it's folded, whether you like it or not. Yeah, I mean, if you need to save space, you know, you don't have all the length that you would need, but you still need to pack a good number of socks. You know, I'd say a good one fold would, would do it. Plus, you could fold them in pairs, and that way you just have a pair of socks ready to pick up and put on. Don't have to bother sifting through to find two socks together. Interesting. Interesting. The sock meta is evolving right now before our very eyes. But both players performing quite well in WOMPs, both getting cannonless. They've got their Owlesses. It's, it's looking pretty hot. Yeah, now we're, we're going to be seeing them go into their hundreds pretty soon, so this will be interesting to see how they manage to... Okay, Marmo going actually for the Pro Cycle. Let's see if this ends up paying off for him. This is not the Pro Cycle, my man. He got he got those first 10 coins. This is about as basic as it gets. Oh, it's well, a half cycle. My bad, my bad. Yeah. Well, actually, I'm not... <laughs> I hate to keep, you know, clapping your cheeks like this, but... Well, actually, maybe this is. Maybe this is a half cycle. I could be wrong. Commentator, you know, eager to clap Electric's cheeks, but they are safe today. I mean, when you got cheeks this cute, they're, they're just asking to be clapped. Meanwhile, Cartoon Buffoon with that kind of interesting jump onto that platform. Gonna have to wait a little while for that uh, moving platform cycle, but it's okay. Mermo, nice collection on that arrow. But then, of course, kind of flubbing a little bit on that one last island coin. So I think that's gonna put him in a position to... Oh wait, no, there's eight right here, never mind. I was gonna say he's gonna have to grab the box, but fortunately avoiding that uh, crate, having to throw it around and stuff. The only thing that can make that worse is if that were one of the uh, mad crates. <laughs> Gucci gang, we're, we are Gucci, we are set. Both of some decent 100s, but Momo actually bringing the sauce. Getting the half cycle, gonna be saving some time on Buffoon. I mean, the thing about Island Hop is it's very flashy. It's like, whoa, he just went for that. But at the end of the day, it's about eight, eight-ish, maybe ten seconds. I, I always get confused on it. I get lost in the sauce, but I'm pretty sure it's eight, which is not, it's not that big. That's one right. mistake. In a category like 16 star, it would be big, but not in 70. I mean, it's, like you said, it's flashy, but ultimately it doesn't do a whole lot unless you're just really going for that intimidation factor. And actually, both guesses wrong. Cheese in the back, behind the curtains, letting us know that it's six to seven seconds time save. So, two tries, third try the, the charm, I guess, but it wasn't really a try. But yeah, there we go. Here comes the womp. Yeah, we, see, we saw uh, Mermo go for that womp, make quick work of him. I, I don't think I've ever really seen any runner mess up significantly on this womp. I mean... He's, he's such a pushover, you can literally go right through him. I, I don't know what that really says about his uh, fortitude. Yeah, he's got he's definitely got the persona. He, he's very big, so he's hoping that that will compensate. But really, it's not about what's on the outside, but what's on the inside. And clearly, there's not a lot on the inside, because Mario passes right through it. No problem. Yeah, I mean, when he explodes, it's, it's obvious he's just a, a hollow shell. I, I'm not surprised he's as cracked up as he is. He's not solid concrete whatsoever, it looks like. Not and so we see Mermo with his second slide here. Got a 13 flat, I believe, first time around. So I'm going to go ahead and say he's grabbing a 12.8 this time around. 12.9. Oh my goodness. Two 13.0s. You can say he's consistent. Yeah, and I mean, uh, in addition to being upside down dyslexic, uh, I, I do also have a point two dyslexia where what? Uh, numbers get adjusted just by, by point two randomly. Okay. Commentator making up diseases on the spot might have be coming down with a case of Gargoma. I mean, gar don't mock Gargoma. It, it's a fatal disease, my man. I you know. Momo, kind of with that... Uh, not not too not too hot flying honestly 
13 0 from Cartoon Buffoon. It looks like the uh, trend is spreading from Mermo's side. Yeah, not only is the trend spreading, but the uh, I, I want to say this is German spreading in the chat. It's uh, a whole lot of whole lot of action. A lot of cats with sunglasses, purple sunglasses. In fact, that's a cool cat. Yeah, I, I'd say he's pretty cool. And, and we see Buffoon right here, going to be saving a pretty considerable amount of time, I believe. This is the flying mechanic. It, it, it's really the more horizontal you are, the slower you are. And you see Buffoon right here. I mean, these aren't like the most optimal arcs in the world. It's not like we're watching Aki or Chi or someone like that. But you, you see he's he's purposely spending as little time as possible horizontal. And I think he easily picked up probably a second over Mermo's wing cap stage. Yeah, that was, that was pretty beautiful, but man, the, there's an overwhelming amount of support from Momo or Mermo's boys in the chat. I mean, every time he gets a star, they're pumping him up. Cartoon buffoon might be feeling the heat, might be feeling the pressure, but at the same time, being the underdog can, can be a sort of boost, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. Or I mean, you know, especially if he's not looking at chat, he and with with that uh, confidence boost, I'm sure he got out of Island Hop. He, he's got to be playing at the top of his A game right now. The top of his already top game commentator, you know, just just having to stack those adjectives like crazy. Well, it could be like a local, you know, previously you thought he was at a local maximum, but this is global maximum that we're seeing. Oh, but this is we say it. Oh, oh taking no! a death in dark world off that cheese block. Oh, Man, that's oh that is... That's a that's a pretty terrible way to die off that cheese block. Normally you see people just have too much speed and just dive instead of kick, but that was I don't think I've ever really seen anyone go over like that. <laughs> oh man, I if that's not commentator's curse, I don't know what is. Both of us praising Cartoon Buffoon, saying that he's got it going, he's got the sauce, but a little bit too much sauce, as as the famous uh Belusi Vert and Future have once said, that's too much sauce. Exactly right. And I mean, you know, when you're dealing with a game as saucy as SM64, oh, almost taking another death there. Does the game force you to do a get up if the cheese block hits you there, or does it just kill you? Hmm. I want to say it forces you to get up. I, I don't think it clips you down, but I honestly haven't seen it. I, I'm not 100% sure on that one. And, of course, that, that death in Dark World costing Cartoon Buffoon, Momo already taking a pretty sizable lead, honestly. Finishing up his really nice island hop. Or, sorry, sky jump. Close enough. I mean, it involves a jump up to a, a island in the sky, so... So... Basically, it's an island hop. You're just I, hopping I, onto the island. You're, you're flying, but, I mean, you're also hopping. Yep, you know, I mean, for safety's sake, you could also just call it the Island Bob, because it's a pretty bopping strat. <laughs> Man, they're really, they're really, <laughs> there's a lot of Mermo Star Get. I might have to hop on this meme. It's looking like the stocks are rising. Mermo Star Get! Mermo Star Get, amen. You know, just, just throwing that penguin around, sliding like crazy. I... I wonder if that's, I, I wonder how that uh, momentum you get during that mountain slide ranks as far as the, like how fast Mario goes throughout the entire run. Cause he's going pretty quick whenever he does that uh, second jump off the mountain. Well, let's see. Oh. Ooh. Cartoon Great. Buffoon's wall kicks working really well for him. And Mermo Stargate with those wall kicks. Very nice. Cool cat, cool cat, cool cat. Cartoon Buffoon. He seems to have the strats on lock, you know, he's got the the high quality island hop. He's got the wall kicks of work strats. But at the end of the day, as our children's books have taught us, the tortoise usually beats the hare. And this might be a case of tortoise and hare, you know, Momo sticking to his guns, sticking to what's safe, what feels natural, and so far it's playing out pretty well for him. Very nice moonwalk from Mermo too, though. You know, talking about just him playing with consistent strats. That one's a, a pretty big boy strat most of the time. And so now we see Buffoon going in for 
So both these guys are gonna be going for CCM 18. Definitely like that route. Um, and I mean, for for these two guys, you know, even though Cartoon Buffoon's been pulling out some pretty amazing strats, I, I wouldn't really expect him to be going for a double pillar list. So CCM 18 seems to be the ideal call here. Yeah, CCM 18's all right. Punkation is is a big fan of the CCM 17 with Toxic Maze instead of a second pillarless, which I think is a pretty good strat. I, I'm scared of CCM 18, especially in a race. You know, one slip up and you can lose a lot of time. But we we'll just have to see how it goes. Momo not picking up the extra red, so he can only miss one coin. I imagine Crouton, Buffoon, Kraton, Kratom, Buffoon also... Probably opting for the same thing. You know, no safety red. Bold move. Let's see how it plays out for both these guys. But Mermo looking like he's in good shape so far. Got that one requisite miss. And yep. Looks like he was just barely edging that coin on the um, ice slide right there. So a little bit afraid for him for a moment. Not even bothering to change the camera for the penguin long jump. Wow. That is the that is the optimal strat, actually, to keep the camera facing that way. When you turn it around, I don't know if it's the penguin or the cave, but it causes massive amounts of lag. Actually, I don't want to say massive. That's that's definitely overplaying it. But it definitely causes some lag. Cartoon buffoon opting for the same thing. Definitely a little scary because you can't see the penguin, and the penguin sort of varies. Sometimes he'll come down right after you. Other times he'll come down quite a bit later, and cheese actually listens he uses a, an audio cue to figure out when to long jump which i've i don't really understand i've never been able to do it but you know whatever works for you yeah but i mean that's that's the biggest thing with this game there's so many strats that you know may lose a, a third of a second or so but if it works for you you could definitely make up for it in other places too. so how much a... nice kick there very nice so he grabbed that star at about 15 20 so Cartoon Buffoon looking at probably a 25 to 30 second time deficit, which is a it's a little bit scary. Oh my goodness. Having some fun with the wall there before he heads into Big Boo's haunt, taking his time. It's a little bit scary, but it's not it's certainly not the end of the world, and we haven't even gotten to the, the dicey area yet. It's still in the right. early stages. Yeah, until they head down to the basement and, and get past Fire Sea, it, it's really anyone's game for sure, even with a lead like this. For sure. And Mermo with another star get coming out. Prep up those cool cats. Rev them up. Because it is a star get. Very exciting stuff. Chat, you know, I thought it would die down, but it seems that the meme has only gotten stronger since the, the race has started. It's kind of fascinating. You know, with a solid meme like this, I'm not surprised about its growth. With with any good meme, you just see exponential growth most of the time in chat. It's true. It seems to be like exponential growth, but then also an exponential drop. You know, it, it has its fun, it has its time, and then eventually it just dies out of nowhere. It's like, alright, well, rest in peace. But when this meme will die, I'm not sure. It's still meme. worth getting on the, the train. Investing a couple of uh, uh, bones into it. Yeah, maybe even a, a bit here and there. And uh, we got Mermo here with that Myths get. Very nice. Very nice indeed. But now it's time for Shifting Sandland Electric. What do you think about Shifting Sandland? Scary? Definitely scary. Uh, it's a sandy level. Ooh, this is looking good. Breaking the box. Uh, you know, risking it a little bit, but. Very, very nice. Ooh, beautiful star grab there. Just right on the edge of that fence. Almost risking that fall of shame, but... I'm sure he's confident in it. And yeah, I, I think it's very safe, especially uh, in a speedrunning context, to call this something like a Shigeru sadistic level. I mean, it, it's a very... Very tricky level. When you have anything that starts with something like Pillarless, you know you're in for a ride. The nice thing about it is that it, it definitely drops the difficulty as soon as you get it out of the way. It, it's sort of the, the big hurdle, Pillarless, but both players executing it very nicely, grabbing those stars, 
moving along. And that, that's pretty much, like, once you're done with that, you know, the Talon Star can be a little bit tricky, but top of the pyramid is pretty much free. Oh, absolutely. Once you get that movement down to uh, get to the top of that dune, it, it slides you basically right into position, and you have so much time to be able to readjust. Yeah, and that's... Oh, okay. Momo with a very interesting trajectory. Might have forgotten where Lethal Lava Land is, but quickly adjusting and figuring it out. It, it can be a hard-to-find stage, you know? That, that really big fireball with the scary face on it really blends into the wall. Yeah, it can it can be hard it can be hard to see. You know, shifting sand land, it's kind of pretty obvious. It, it looks like the wall. You just have to touch you get touch it and it ripples, but oh, fireball, I don't know, man. I don't know. It, it matches really well with the rest of the decor, so it it can be hard to tell it apart. Okay, we've got some turbulence here on the commentator side. We got the speed dog police, you know, we, we normally just have standard speed police, but it looks like Paw Patrol coming in this time around. Both these guys really <laughs> have a nice grab on that log rolling star. I will be right back. And so uh, while the big simp is gone, going to take advantage of uh, this opportunity to encourage chat to use as many of his emotes as possible. Just to give him a little bit of a surprise when he gets back. And so we've got Cartoon Buffoon with the really nice reds there. Momo, beautiful big bully kill. I've always thought it kind of an interesting design choice to just let the bridge just kind of pop in there like that. With all the things, the little details that are put into this game, I've always thought that one was just a tad lazy. But, you know, uh, who am I to judge, honestly? I, I certainly couldn't make anything like this in 1996. I wasn't even alive. Hello. I'm back. Hello. We're looking good. So uh, it, it, it appears that a co-commentator swapped to back from Simply. Not sure who this back character is, but, you know, sounding pretty oh, similar. Meanwhile, oh, Mermo failing. Oh, wow. That's I. How often do you manage to do that after Lafayette's failing like that? Oh, wow. wow. Climbing all the way up to the top. He's feeling a little bit uncomfortable. Momo perhaps beginning a a. I don't know, something's gotten into his head. The, lead, the boost did not work out. Could be feeling a little bit shaky after that. Still getting a star. Still getting the cool cats in the chat. But Momo might not be as cool of a cat after that mistake. Right. Now, uh, we do have someone in chat asking what star does Island Hop replace. Island Hop actually does not replace a star. But it prevents you from having to revisit B.O.B. after you get the wing cap. So normally for that star, you'd have to wait until after you get the wing cap to do Sky Jump. But if you do Island Hop, then you don't have to go back after getting wing cap. So that's where the time save comes from, is that castle movement. That is absolutely correct. You know, co-commentator may be wanting to still clap my cheeks, but uh, not, not able to at the moment. Using yeah, factual information. The facts are too heavy right now, you know, you've got the information on lock, I do like a good clapping every once in a while, but it's also nice to let the cheeks sort of rest and let them uh, settle in their tenderness for a little bit before getting back to business, if you know what I'm saying. And, and plus, I mean... Up on... Okay, alright, what? Perfect. I was gonna say, uh, Cartoon Buffoon, meanwhile, you know, perfectly clapping those triple bully cheeks, that was beautiful execution there. We see so many people in the middle of a race that just, for whatever reason, have trouble getting all three of them off at the same time, but in his case, it just one kick and bam, gone. Yeah, Momo did struggle with that as well. I mean, his Lethal Lava Land, definitely not the cleanest. Look at how much time Cartoon Buffoon has actually gained on him. Momo opening the 30-star door at 22-20. Cartoon Buffoon looking like he's trimmed the lead a bit, probably around 10 15 seconds. Yeah, really significant amount of time, honestly. He's Especially, creeping. you know, given that death in Dark World that honestly cost him considerably, you know, it, it's good to see him be this close all over again. Oh, definitely. And meanwhile, we see on Mermo's side, one of nature's most majestic beings, close as ever. You have reached Mario Geographic, 
And with our brand new James Cameron camera technology, we bring you closer than ever to the majestic Mari. Here we go! So calm and serene in its nature, but effortless as he unlocks the chests and Star gets. Just, just sound just Beautiful grabs right there. And I mean, his watching how much air he exhales constantly, it's, it's amazing his breath capacity. Just, just astounding. Able to munch on the coins and effortlessly rejuvenate the capillaries. Inspirational. You know, for, for centuries, man has searched for the secret of turning raw materials into gold, but it seems the Mario has done the opposite, turning raw gold into precious, precious air. Oh! But hold on! Having issues with the rear of this submarine, that, that fin there can be fairly finicky at times. One of the Mario's largest natural predators. Let's see how Cartoon Buffoon handles it. He approaches his prey, and then beautiful execution on the side flip. He will be dining in luxury tonight. Just look at this as Cartoon Buffoon gains more and more on Momo. Momo, I mean... <sighs> it's a rough it's a rough way to to begin fire sea on a note such as that but we'll see what he's got but i mean with with the big transition between the two levels it, it's really kind of amazing just how much of an aesthetical change you have just in an instant you can just barely see it right now with cartoon buffoon screen you know you have that calm blueness just very serene. That, that lag almost calms the game down a little bit in a way. But then on Mono's side, you just have just the the absolute insanity of fire scene. Yeah, and here it comes. Momo's looking good. He's got the red coins. The fire seat lava boost is still on the table. Wait, maybe that's not what he goes for, though. Very confident dive. All right. Let's see how Cartoon Buffoon fares here. Oh. Ooh, okay. Again, Cartoon Buffoon's got the strats. It's looking good. Will he get a lava boost? It seems to be on on schedule. Uh, ah! Oh, oh no! no! Taking the death of the sarcophagus! Oh, man! Oh, man. Did, okay, did someone in chat play Reversal of Fortune? This is, this is not Yu-Gi-Oh, okay? That's not okay. This, this is, wow, he went from being on pace for Lava Boost to just dying. And, you know, I, I almost, I mean, it looked like he was a tad what? late for Lava Boost, but Momo, meanwhile, did he miss the, the star? Yeah, crab? he long jumped under the star. <laughs> wow. <laughs> almost missing the star completely. Cartoon, Cartoon Buffoon having some issues. He may not even be able to, well, early cycle, I think, is still on the table, but. Oh, wait, no, he missed that elevator nah. coin earlier. It's not. Yeah, this is this is rough, and I, I I can't blame him. I mean, first Dark World death, and now a Fire Sea death. It's like the last things that you want to happen in a 70 star run, but unfortunately, and what it's happening? Okay, very that interesting. That could have been very scary. Strat. Right. That's a that's a backup if I've ever seen one. But man, this is hurt. Okay, Get, getting just right in line on the cycle, able to slap the heart. You know, having to go for the bad ending, but it, it's still okay. But I mean, Cartoon Buffoon has, even though he's been pulling out the strats in the main levels, the Bowser stages have just been really killing him this whole time. Yeah, he he just gets so close. He, I mean, he was about to overtake Momo, but. Bowser levels are just a little bit too scary. Cartoon buffoon looking like just a bit of a buffoon in these Bowser stages, but might be able to make it up upstairs. I mean, there is honestly still so much left, but Momo in a very comfortable position as we start my tribe world. Let's see here. Nice coin grabs here. Spider RNG can be uh, pretty finicky at times, but... Looks like he's in a decent starting position. Oh yeah, it's it's clean for him. Very nice. Oh, well. You know, commentators whoa, curse. Whoa, whoa, 
Is he gonna miss that blue? All right, he's good. That could have been a little spooky. Would have been good for Profoon, but... Grabbing it at the last second. I mean, you'd always much rather see a racer win by their own skill than the uh, other runner's mistakes. So, you know, I, I definitely... Cartoon Buffoon not with a huge, huge deficit, and I, I think he could definitely make this up with the... Uh, if, if he maintains the confidence that we saw at the beginning of this run. Yeah, without a doubt. He, he still can do it. He has shown time and time again that he's... I mean, he's clean. Outside of these Bowser level deaths, it's been a very good run. Unfortunately, missing a coin right at the beginning there. You can only miss one, so that's all he's got. But okay. Oh, uh, okay. Interesting. The blue coin timer here seems to be at least relatively lenient, so. Um, wasn't in too, too much danger there, but that, that spider RNG was just terrible. I, I must have done something really bad to his N64 to deserve that wretched RNG call there. Buffoon? Yeah, because I, I mean, the the game is really weird. For every coin that it spawns out of a box, it calls the RNG function three times to figure out where it's going to head. And so for one coin to just do something really weird like that, I mean, it happens a pretty considerable amount, but it's still... You got to wonder what's going on under the hood at those times. You can't, one could never know. It is an enigma of luck. But probably some sort of... You know, wow, <laughs> the chat is going off, man. I can't, I can't believe they're still going. I love you guys. Cool cats, Mermo Star gets the energy is here for Momo. He's got the support. Buffoon, I, I, I really want to see him bring it back. And he's, he's doing a good job so far. The wet, dry world's looking more wet despite it being actually physically dry. Arden Buffoon making plays. Oh, oh bomb from Momo. Still able to get on top of that elevator though, and get ready cool. for it. All right. Mermo Stargate. You forgot the cool cats. Oh, cool sorry. Cat. Cool cat. Mermo Stargate. Cool cat. There we go. Thank you. And Gotta keep the meme Ooh, I, intact. I thought he was gonna miss that box for a moment there. Wow. All right. Oh, okay. Cartoon buffoon with some nice lag reduction and picking up a couple seconds on Momo there. This is how he's got to do it. Every single opening and another opening here. Oh, but another opening and there. And an opening here and an opening there. I'm not sure how the rest of that nursery rhyme goes, but Cartoon Buffoon definitely certain of his strats. Yeah, I wonder if he'll go for the triple jump dive. I actually really like that strat from Momo and Cartoon playing it more conservative, going for the long jump, working out, and it's time for Tiny Huge Island. Momo once again seems to forget where things are. I mean, he was heading... It looked like he was going left of the door, but... Yeah, it looked almost like he was going to be heading towards TTM, which I, I don't really know of a route that would do TTM without THI. For any category. Oh, these secrets? Pretty good. Pretty good from Momo. It can go much, much worse, as we have seen time and time again. Oh, Miss Ground out from Bafu. That's always rough to see. Ooh, nice. I just love whenever they uh, get that pancake strat there instead of having to do the ledge grab. Yeah, it, it's a very satisfying star to see. I mean, the whole thing just looks amazing. Very fast paced and very technical. It's it's easily the hardest star in 70 star tiny huge island. Once you got it, it's a breath of relief and then right back into the thick of it. And see here, I thought you were just going to leave that off as the hardest star in uh, 70 star. And I was about to say, um, <laughs> there are many stars that would like a word with you. Buffoon yeah. with uh, some issues getting on top of this mountain. Adapts quite well, though. He, he, it was, oh, okay, hold on. Oh, that was a really early jump. Okay, he's good. Oh, and that was a weird camera angle he got during the star spawn, too. I don't think I've ever seen the star have that camera angle it looked like he he maybe had the camera tilted 90 degrees to what we normally see in runs yeah it's something to do with his backup and he typically by the time that you actually oh no buffoon taking a dip wanted to cool off but not the best uh decision for his time 
Meanwhile, Mermo's showing off uh, with those piranha plants. It appears, I've seen this a couple of times, it looks like they won't actually spawn if you're not looking at them. So, like, you see Buffoon getting it to spawn, it looked like a little bit quicker because he kind of delayed uh, doing his slide to execute the piranha plant. Whereas on Mermo's side, he went just a little bit too far and had to actually turn around to get him to spawn, it looked like. Hmm. I, I I can neither confirm nor deny these allegations. I always thought that it was based on position. Like, if you're close to the spawn, I didn't think it had anything to do with looking. But, you know, I... I'm not 100% sure on that one. So we're gonna, we're gonna, we'll leave it, we'll leave it there. We'll sleep on it. We'll, we'll see how it feels. Perhaps someone in chat will enlighten us. Yeah, well, we will certainly need uh, someone like a panning coic to give us a definitive answer here. Virago saying that uh, he was just on top of the spawn point. So I, I could see that uh, causing it. Tall, tall mountain. Man, I, I like how the the cool cats look. It, it's like a nice wavy sort of pattern. Oh, yeah. The, the way that the usernames end up working out with, with long ones, like, segueing into short ones, it's it's nice. It's very I, I, I'm very appreciative of this meme. Mermo chat, give yourselves a pat on the back. That's a very quality meme. Gotta love those quality memes. Cartoon Buffoon with the Breezeless. Very nice. Not even having to do the, I, you know, you see a lot of people uh, going like halfway into the fence with that, but just going right in with the ground pound. Just absolutely beautiful. Stunning. And so now we've got oh, his box jump. Beautiful. Ooh. Cartoon Pavoon with some pretty fancy movement, but I'm not actually sure if that saved him any time. It was a bit of an overshot. Not sure if he caught it, but he did a cheeky little speed kick. It looked very nice, but that's sort of Buffoon's MO. He, he looks very nice, but actually, I, I can't really say that. He, he's been he's been looking both very nice and also moving pretty quickly. It's it's really just the, the Bowser stages that have been sort of glaring... Yeah, I mean, I really wonder if you put Mermo's Bowser stages into Cartoon Buffoon's run, I wonder how the matchup would look then. I, I'd be pretty certain that he'd be ahead, but I, I wonder by how much. Here we go. Oh, wow. Okay. Buffoon with the gigantic jump into the star, both kind of flubbing on the landing of the star. It's not easy by any means. And honestly, pretty good reds overall. A lot of times you'll see players drop one piece of the movement and then it sort of all falls apart. But staying well composed here in Tall Tall Mountain, both players just getting the job done. Not dilly-dallying at all. They've got a mission. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it's very nice to see a TTM without just a bunch of ridiculous time loss everywhere. For Tomb Buffoon, though, as soon as I say that, having to do the uh, kicks up the wall instead of getting that triple jump, Always wasted a decent amount of time. And so Mermo going into Snowman's land. Let's see how he decides to tackle this level. It's it's not as hard as some of the other like basement stages, for instance, but it's one that has some pretty tricky strats, especially with the uh, Snowman's head. Ooh. Almost, almost cute. That is a, a very difficult timing to get that ground pound next to the box, but the movement up to it was very nice. Momo with another star get. Cartoon Buffoon as well. We'll be joining him here in Snowman's Land soon. And then not much left before we get to the infamous. Delicious. Spicy. Tippy. Yep, that, that just ludicrously... I mean, it, it, it it's intense. It's grueling. It's You have to, at a point, be a true masochist in every sense of the word to subject yourself to the level of practice required to get Tippy to a proficient level. I mean, it's... It's... Oh, no! Cartoon Buffoon missing that wall kick there. Ooh. That's... Oh! Oh! Oh, that was almost... Um... Uh... Okay. Oh! Just, just <laughs> hemorrhaging time right now. Yeah. Not, not how you wanted to see that go. He almost got that really nice backup into the star, but just, just couldn't get the hook there. Wow. Unfortunate on Buffoon's side right there. That's just that. That's not at all how you want to see that go. 
I mean, he already was, was playing on borrowed time, you know, had to go ahead and take out a second mortgage, maybe even had to visit a time loan shark. But at this point, not sure if he's going to be able to repay that time loan. Mario may need to watch out for his own kneecaps. Definitely would be unfortunate. Oh, oh taking no! a poke there. Just cannot Archie. get on top of this head. See, that's that commentator's curse, uh, I guess. Oh, no. Falling See, going apart. Into this level, like, like I said, going into this level, Snowman's head Oh, be goodness. This is, this is one of those moments where Cartoon Buffoon demonstrating every possible way not to perform this star, but finally managing to get that rollout into it. And I, I'm just glad he didn't get on top of the head and fall off again. We've seen that happen a pretty decent <laughs> times. Yeah, it looked like the hypothermia finally kicked in and he had, the boy had done lost his mind in Snowman's land, but got back to the lobby, able to, you know, get a little bit warmed up, but there, there's not that much time left. We have Rainbow Riding to talk clock. Momo, so far, so good. And with his pretty conservative strats at times, I can't imagine that Tippy's going to be too dicey for him. But anything's possible. We've seen lead swaps in Tippy all the time. But man, the deficit is rough. Right, Eddie. It's going to require a pretty substantial... And with, with, with how conservative we've overall seen Mermo play this entire race, I, I wouldn't say he's going to be putting himself in a position to lose a whole lot of time to Buffoon in Tippy. But you never know. And I mean, right now, they're just dealing with that hazy maze cave. You know, if you've watched any of my uh, comms in the past, or I, I don't know if that's how that terminology works, but we'll go for it. You, you know how I feel about HMC. You know how it originated. And I mean, ultimately, even though it, it's a toxic place caused by toxic business practices, it's not really too uh, technically foreboding. And, you know, it's in the HMC late route, it, it, it really gives you a bit of a reprieve. You have TTM, just ridiculous stuff. Snowman's Land, some pretty technical stars that, as we saw on Buffoon's side, can lose a pretty significant amount of time. And then right sandwiched between that and Tippy is this. You know, the hardest strat you're really having to deal with is the triple box jump. Yeah, I, I'm actually, I'm a big fan of it. It gives you some breathing room, a chance to collect yourself before the final rush. Okay, and now Cheese in chat trying to start Cartoon Stargate. We'll see if anybody invests, but in such a bull market. Okay, and Cheese using his mod power to spam it. You Might cannot spell mod without abuse of privileges, as Cheese is demonstrating. I mean, you can, but uh, I, get, I get what you're saying. The artificial inflation of this meme some people buying it, but mostly, you know, Mermo Star gets coming out. I mean, you know, I really feel like if Cartoon Star Git is going to become a thing, it, it, it needs to have a different emote than Cool Cat. There needs to be something to really differentiate it. I mean, if you're going to try to just steal someone else's meme, it, it, at least try to change it. <laughs> I don't know, man. I, the Cool Cat actually... It seems to be picking up a little bit of steam. We'll see as Cartoon grabs his next star. Mermo's still quite strong, but Christmas Cartoon. Miracle from Buffoon, nice. Yeah, very nice. Pressing that button down and, and Pity coming in with his own sauce saying he likes Taco Bell. Very controversial opinion. Might have to get a stern talking to from the GSA staff for that one. And I mean, you know, with all the attention he's giving Taco Bell, you would think that they're a sponsor, but not yet, unfortunately. You know, only a matter of time, I would hope, with how much free promotion we've already given them. <gasps> Cartoon Buffoon with a dive right into the long jump pit. Oh, wow, that rage man. pause and everything. You know, I, when I, I played... When I played this game as a kid, it oh. took me a very long time to figure out how exactly that, that pit was passable. But I don't think I ever dove into it like that. That's... <laughs> man commentator claiming that even as a kid he could he could outplay cartoon buffoon you know coming in with with the claws i mean cartoon buffoon attacked from all angles chat trying to put pump him up hype him up a bit but i it's so tough man it's a tough it's a tough one and it's really the, the worst part about this is it hasn't really overall been like 
strat mistakes like like for instance uh missing pillarless three or four times and having to eventually start respawning bomb bombs it hasn't been mistakes like that it's been just small mistakes that resulted in deaths that's really been what's made buffoons run just so so tragic at the end of the day and it's frustrating and honestly hats off to cartoon buffoon he seems to have doing about as good of a job as you could in the face of these mistakes to keep the run going and, and try to bring the time back. Ooh, a bonk as he goes upstairs. It's... It's a tough... To, it's, a, it's a very tough thing to handle because you just... You, so badly, you want to be able to perform and you want to be able to get the W, get those points with mistakes that he's made with... And like you said, they're, they aren't big mistakes. They're very minor slip-ups. When you die in Fire Sea like that, that's just accidentally you slip under the platform and burn to death. Dark World. He accidentally had a little bit too much momentum and walked off the edge. These are not huge errors. He's been having pretty good gameplay, but it's it's a bop. Oh, and no boost. Or bounce. Or trounce, unfortunately. And getting a bonk there on top of the maze gonna have to be... Ouch. Pretty lucky that the platform cycle was where it was there. Otherwise, that would have just been a ridiculous amount of time lost. Meanwhile, Mermo about to be... Oh, no! And taking that... I don't know if I've really ever seen anyone miss that specific oh. point. Normally, you see people sliding a bit too early there. Oh, Mermo! What's going on here? Mermo has fallen down. This is a pretty, pretty big bop. This could perhaps be the beginning of something. The Rainbow Ride hasn't been too shabby, but with that mistake, that... That's a considerable amount of time loss as we move into top, to top clock, which is... <gasps> that And taking a dead Yeah! Oh, yeah. no! This is what Cartoon Buffoon needed, but man, that is rough to see. And, you know, I, I was about to say, I, I really wonder, with, with the amount of time loss he had to take getting back up to the platform, I wonder if it would have been better for him to take a death, but certainly not taking both. That is not good. Gonna have to... Oh, it's slipping again! He is getting a little bit nervous. It seems that he is finally sort of caving in to... Two! Oh, two another! Again, digging another, another one! Okay, not quite a death this time, but man, at what cost? Momo. Just... More like, oh no. <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo. M meanwhile, chat, I'm sure, just, just really pained that they can't keep using Mermo's target. Just... Man, Cartoon Buffoon, he, he's got a decent opportunity. Okay, Mermo finally being able to do that triple jump off the top of the flame shooter. I mean, both times, if you watched, it was really just, he was just a few pixels short, ended up landing on the slope, and just did not have enough height. Just so terrible to see. I'm going for Toad first here. You know, not quite sure how much I can support this decision, but, but, but hey, to each their own. To each their own, indeed. Momo heading into TikTok clock. And Cartoon Buffoon is looking to be in a much better position, though also struggling with swinging in the breeze. Can he get the triple jump off of the flame spitter? What is happening? Where are we going? Where are we going? <laughs> Very lucky that those platforms don't just oh! completely disappear. That's... wow. What so is happening? You know, Mermo handing him a pretty considerable amount of rope and Cartoon Buffoon just, just cutting it right back off. I mean, no yeah. death, but still a considerable amount of time loss. Yeah, that that was... A, uh, I was a little bit confused. Oh, no! Cartoon Buffoon entering in time slow. Definitely wanted the time to be stopped. That's the play. <gasps> oh, no! Cartoon Buffoon. I mean, it, it, at least it wasn't the like a very late stage death, and it did give him the opportunity to, to stop time. But man, I mean, Mermo a full hundred coin star ahead. That's a still a pretty considerable gap to make up with just one stage left. But as we've said so many times in so many previous races, Merry Christmas to you, and also it's not over until it's over. Definitely not over until the fat Bowser screams. It is TikTok clock and Bowser in the sky are also left on the table. It's just 
anything can happen as we as we saw in Rainbow Ride. I mean, what's what is stopping something like what happened with Momo and Rainbow Ride from happening in Tick Tock Clock? But so far, he's looking pretty clean. Making the moves that he needs to make for very clean pit and pendulums. But he's still got some work left to cut out for him. Yeah, we've seen plenty of people have trouble with the uh, time jumps on immobile bars. We've seen, uh, even in some cases, some issues with the roll into the cage and get a hand. So, I mean, it's certainly not over yet. And he could still lose a pretty considerable amount of time on reds if he just doesn't quite uh, get those jumps properly. And Cartoon Buffoon getting a hand, you know, doing it first. We have our beliefs about that. Arguably not the best move. But if you're feeling very good about your strats, you're feeling clean, then it doesn't really matter. Yeah, no harm, no foul. You can, uh, you can play incorrectly if you want to, and it will be fine. Maybe. Maybe. But Cartoon Buffoon, no triple jump moving strats here. Having to take the classic route, moving along as everything is sort of sliding, rotating, cranking. But, nice maneuvering. But well, Momo's gonna be done here soon, one more star to go. Cartoon Buffoon, a decent amount behind. Now, I'm curious if Momo is going to opt for the triple jump wall kick at Bowser in the Sky, because that is usually a huge script flipping turner i i'm not trying to say it but it's a it's a big move it can be very very damaging if it goes wrong yeah and with how close they honestly still are it, it's something that i think could easily turn the tide of this race if he misses it but part of me part of me thinks he might not go for it at all i'm wondering if he's aware of what's going on with the race missed angle there readjust for the wall kick nice backup yeah, big turning point. Thank you, chat. But Mermo Stargets, they've been going strong for 50 minutes now. The energy in this chat, overwhelming. There are the cartoon Stargets coming out as well. You know, guns are getting pointed around. It's it's a little bit of a Munka. Not quite and, a Munka TOS, but an S. And uh, cartoon there, I don't know if you noticed, but he was doing some weird star menuing at the beginning of... Uh this specific star specifically moving it to this menu option so i i don't know if uh, d does that affect anything in this level i didn't think that tiktok talk i didn't think this level changed at all no actually i'm not sure if you if you've been clued in but there is some new menuing tech that was discovered recently have you heard about it oh right with uh it's like you hold left and then the uh it, you, the menu goes automatically to continue without saving after right. the star yeah, that that could be what he was going for. But I, I, I think and he was moving the, the ball menu kick and there onto is. the right. But uh, you could do it either way, apparently. Oh, interesting. Huh. Yeah, it's really it's quite strange. But Momo, he's looking to take the W, looking quite poised. Still yeah, three good throws to do. RNG. The cartoon buffoon gonna be right on his tail, so he's definitely Ooh. gonna need to pull out. Very beautiful stair movement right there. Wow. Yeah. I see so that many was... people having trouble with the <gasps> stairs, getting how they work, and that's a missed throw. Miss. Every and second was... matters. I I feel like I've seen way further away Bowser's throws actually hit the bomb, but hitboxes are apparently also RNG in this game. Oh, no! Cartoon Buffoon with the triple jump dive bonk. Wow, that's. Man, okay. we've seen cases where that's changed the outcome of a race, but at this point, it's just more nails in his coffin. So Whoa. one more throw for Mermo, and he's clenched it. Winding it up. And that is looking like another missed throw. Cartoon Buffoon could have already been in here tossing him with him. I mean, to every 10 seconds is another point off. Cartoon Buffoon, though, completing the trifecta. Another missed throw of Momo. Oh, boy. Got a death in every single Bowser stage, so that's an accomplishment on its own, I'd say. And there it is. 
Yeah, Mermo clenching out a high 52. Not a bad race time at all, especially with uh, some of the safer strats he was going for. And I mean, Cartoon Buffoon, four deaths and and still coming out with what's probably going to be a high 53, low 54. That's still a pretty good run, especially considering uh, some of the very <laughs> just wild strats he was using. And gotta remember, this run started with an island hop, and look where we are now. Uh, yeah, I I still can't believe I I feel bad for Cartoon because of the deaths that he had. I think the Bowser in the Sky one was probably the most the most common one that you'll see. The Fire Sea and the Dark World were very unfortunate, but ends it with very nice throws and still less than a minute apart. Cartoon's going to be earning some points, but Momo getting a nice chunk in his back pocket. And of course, going home with that W. Just beautiful gameplay from both of these guys, though. Let's see those GGs in the chat. The GGs. We'll be getting these gentlemen in for an interview. It looks like Cartoon Buffoon is in here. Cartoon Buffoon, welcome. We've got Momo in here as well. Congratulations, Momo or Thanks. Mermo on the star gets did you see the chat at all during that race uh a little bit i saw some <laughs> more more star gets and... <laughs> only yeah. some uh pretty yeah <laughs> there were more than just some that's for sure yeah they were they were popping off everybody you know they got you got the energy um but congratulations on the win how did you feel about that run um the run was pretty decent until Rainbow Riot. <laughs> yeah, um, what happened there? I don't know. I really don't know. In Rainbow Road, everything um, went bad. The Kitu bounce went not so well. And the other star, I don't know what it's called. Um, I just couldn't get it. Were you nervous? Uh, not really. But when I started dying in Rainbow Riot, then I got a little bit nervous. You picked it back up though. TikTok clock went pretty well and then a pretty decent Bowser in the sky. Not too yes. shabby. Except the Bowser throws. Yeah, the Bowser throws were <laughs> they were a little bit rough. And we got Cartoon Buffoon in here. Oh, go ahead. Well, I was about to say, yeah, we we've got Cartoon Buffoon in here as well. Uh how how are you feeling after that race? Uh, I'm just kind of seething here for a moment. <laughs> that was such a bad run. Um, I, I had four deaths. Um, yeah. all three Bowser stages were terrible. All three of them. Um, yeah. Bowser three was probably the best of the three, but I, I, I still died on it. Actually, no, yeah. Five deaths. Cause I, I forgot about that one. Um, <laughs> I feel like everything other than Bowser's was pretty solid. Tippy was sketchy, but I just way too many stupid mistakes. And I, I just played terrible. Yeah, it's definitely rough. Um, those because uh, you were playing so good, like the gameplay in basement was solid. The lobby gameplay, the upstairs gameplay was relatively good. It's just those those little mistakes caused such huge time losses. But props to you, still finishing it out, still picking yourself up, and trying to get the best run that you could go in. Yeah, that was my mindset. I, I think after every big mistake, I started to like look at the levels and see that I was gaining like a little bit of time with basically each level like i just chipped away but then yeah. like right when i started to get close i just made another big mistake so i don't know maybe part of the nerves factor maybe just just not my day but it was still still pretty close and still pretty fun and that's all that matters as long as you had fun what what will you be taking from this race are you gonna are you gonna try to be a little bit more uh careful in the bowser stages or, or what do you think i'm just happened? probably gonna put a lot of hours into practicing them um I just made a lot of silly mistakes because I haven't been playing the game for a couple of days. Fair enough. Fair enough. And I will try well, to improve my boss of throws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was that was a that was a little bit of a monka. Cartoon buffoon almost almost popped in. But GG's guys, thank you for watching. We have got the battle for bikini bottom tournament coming up next. A group stage colon. We know 3000 versus Zim SR with Hasfar and Jackalaka on the commentaries. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, Momo and Cartoon Buffoon, for the amazing race. And 
Of course, electric for being a wonderful co-com. Peace out. Absolutely. Thanks, Thanks everyone, for watching. GG's to the runners, and simply been a pleasure as always.